Hey guys, Travis here from Travis.media. Um, I'm going to show you today, if you've ever been working in your WordPress, local WordPress environment with MAMP, and you have a database that exceeds 32 megabytes, you know that it's not possible to upload it. You get an error message. Let me show you what I mean. Um, so I have a test database here that has nothing in it, no tables found. If I click import, hit choose file, and I have a database on my desktop. If I try to import that, it's 150 megabytes. If I try to import that, I'm going to see this message. You probably tried to upload a file that is too large. Please refer to the documentation. So if your file is over 32 megabytes, you are unable to upload it to MAMP to your local WordPress environment. So in this video, I want to show you how to get around that. It's very simple. Now there's a couple ways to do this, and I'm just going to show you one today in the way I always do it. So here's what you need to do. When that happens, click documentation. And that's going to take you to a part of the documentation that says, that gives you a few options of what you can do. Uh, the first bullet point here says, look at the, and then it gives you a little piece of code, CFG upload DIR feature. Okay. Blah, 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 all this other. Don't even read it. Just take this little piece of code and highlight it and hit Command C or Control C and copy it. So Highlight that and copy it. You're going to need it in just a minute. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your map application in the applications folder. So open up your files and over here to the left you're going to see applications. Now you want to find map. Here's map. I want to click that and then I want to go in this folder called bin. B -I -N. Click that and the next folder you want to go in is PHP my admin. So click that to open it. And you want to look for a file named um, config.inc.php. Now open that in your text editor. I'm using VS Code. And you want to do a search for that little piece of code. So I'm going to hit uh, Command F on the Mac. And I'm going to Command V or Control V to paste in this little bit of code here. And you'll see that that code shows up on line 531. And it says CFG upload dir equals nothing. It's a empty string here. So what you're going to do is you are going to put your database into a folder. And we're going to name that folder here. So let's call this uploads. And then save it. Okay. So let's close our text editor. And back in that folder where you had that file config.inc.php now remember that's in the php my admin folder but in that same folder as this file you're going to create a new folder called uploads we just told that code to look for the folder uploads and upload our database from there so open up uploads so save uploads in that same directory Open it up and drag in your database into that uploads folder. Now check what happens. If I go back to uh, PHP my admin where I got this error message, now if I click on my database again and I go to import, I have a second option. At first you had browse your computer, choose this, you have a 32 megabyte limit. Now I have a second option that says select from the web server upload directory uploads. That's the folder we just created. We told the code we're creating that folder. We created that folder. We put our database in it. Now, watch this. When I create, click my drop down, I'm going to see my database. I'm going to see what's in that folder. So if I click and choose that database and I hit go, it's going to start uploading without an error message. Now, look at this. No error message. Waiting for localhost waiting for localhost and it's 150 megabytes so it may take a minute but anyway you see that I'm not getting an error message so that's the best way using map to upload a database that exceeds the 32 megabytes limit hopefully that helps if you're into web development subscribe to my channel especially if you're into WordPress and freelancing and um, just conquering life in general that's what I like to say that's what my blog is about but if you like coding and all these other things, subscribe to my channel and check out my website at Travis.media because I blog regularly and I love hearing from you guys. So hope this helped.
and let me know if you have any questions.